There was another time, this is maybe a while back at the Vineyard Anaheim, but we had a guy come and he had a seducing spirit. And what he would do is he would go to the supermarket about 5 o'clock every afternoon and he would stand there in the fruit and vegetable section, kind of like me with my guy at Ralph's, uh, but he would stand there and he would pretend to be looking at the fruits and vegetables, but what he was really doing was checking out the women. And when he would see one that he thought he wanted to take home and go to bed with, he would just look at her and he would kind of cock his head like that and she would just look him in the eye and he'd go like that and she would go right out the door and he'd go right out the door and they'd go back to his place. He was, he was sleeping with 250 women a year, different women a year, using the power that seducing spirit gave him. And he came for prayer and I said to him, you're going to have to be willing to give up this power that it gives you to seduce women. He goes, well, I don't know if I want to do that. And I said, then I can't help you. I said, I'm not even going to try to pray for you. He goes, well, can't you do anything? He goes, pray something. I said, all right. I put my hand on him and I said, Jesus, do anything you must to bring his will into alignment with yours. About two weeks later, he called me and he was in a frenzy. He was in a panic because what happened was a succubus spirit started visiting him and raping him in the night legit and so he's freaked out when he came back this time he's like i'll get rid of the seducing spirit i'll do anything just as long as that stops and so we got rid of the succubus and we got rid of the seducing spirit he went on to become a you know acceptable respectable disciple of the lord 